to Maggie Finnegan going two for five yesterday with a run. And, and that's a swinging strike, but the throw to first is where it's going to make it. That runner is safe. So the Who's starting her 26th game this year. Swinging strike, throw going to second, not made in time. A stolen base coming from Manny Finnegan, her t one. She'll line that one. It'll drop into the glove of Kirsten George and left. Throw coming to the plate, and it is not made in time. Finnegan scoring the first run of the day for Penn State. Penn State. That one's going to be put into the air and into the glove of the right fielder. It's Chloe Banks defense partial, getting her third start in as many days. Lynn Mark, her typical bat. 36 strikeouts leads the team. She has to cut down on those. So swing and miss and take number 37. First punch out at home. She's only, your fans. she's only a sophomore, so no senior day for her. That one drops in and a base hit. For Tyrena Jones, two days thus far this weekend. 11 home runs. She'll hit that one hard, drifting into left center, hauled in by the outfield. It was the lead. 100 career punch outs as a Nittany Lion. Runner going to second. Tyrena Jones flying in there. The ball pops out of the glove of Morrison. And the shorts. First walk of the day for Partial. Good take from Scarmardo. That's only the 20 extra eligibility here in West Lafayette. She grounds that one over to third. They'll tag up and get the force out at the final base. So no feast in the lineup today. We've got Alex Pinarski at pitcher, Emily Cox at first base. Right pants, they've got the cursive Penn State on the front as Crawford Demo lines that one into center field. It's gonna be hauled in by her counterpart. Kara is a part of that 3-1 victory. She'll foul it back, still a 1-2. Lonchar will haul it off the protective net or at the plate, but she's second on the squad, tied for six home runs. She puts that one in the air into right center, and Kiara Dillon will wave off her right the first hit of the uh, hit of the day for Purdue, but no runs to show for it as she was stranded. Cox will chop it to partial. She'll take a strut and make the out at first base. By partial for out out one. Kirsten George playing in left field today. Yesterday, this is her 101st at bat of the season. Last year, she had just 24 starts and 22 hits. Through, Moore Lingenfelder took over and went the rest of the way in extras. That one, a swinging strike low, and Partial gets her third of the day, tying the total from seven. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Penn State hung on to win in extras. That one grounded to Scarmardo, a quick throw over to Cox. And that's going to be out number two. Season high three hits against Rutgers. She's going to pop that one into right. Chloe Banks hauls it in. Running to make the catch. That one's out number. That one popped up high. Shallow right. Chloe Banks hauls it in. She accounts for two outs here in the third. Boilermaker and three players hitting triple digit at bats at the top. And now... Kiara Dillon is going to head back to the dugout after her 103rd at bat results. Fine for grass in the outfield. Swing and a miss. Jade Moy goes down for her second strikeout of the day. Partial's got four and two outs. She's fifth in the Big Ten in at bats. She'll pop that one in the air. Doesn't look like it'll fall for a base hit like it did in the first. She'll be one for two, and that'll retire on the squad. 475 average, she pops it up in the air and it looks like Chloe Banks is gonna have herself another out. That's three in the last two innings that have all popped up to right. Most of their starters get pretty active, even in relief, as that one's grounded right over Pinarski. She'll secure out number two. Two up, two down here in the pitched Friday. We saw Mo Wimpy for a third of an inning. She got the final out in the 12th inning as Jade Moy hauls that one and nearly catches. Hence, everyone got honored pregame. There's gonna have a little postgame celebration for all two two showing bunt. Timing swing popped up into the infield. It's gonna be hauled in at first base by Lexi Black, out number one. Ooh. Teams in the South, and you're up here getting all the talent. That That's a true shine of true recruitment skill. Scarmato strikes out, that's number five. Start to hit the real world in the job force. 
That's a strike three up top from Lonchar, and that'll send us to the fifth inning. Boilers have yet to score a run. Rothamel holds up and takes strike three looking. That's out number one and punch out number three for Pitt. Off offer a bad foul into the glove of Lonchar. She'll pop that one in the air. George is gonna have a play at it and she'll haul it in fair territory. Two up, two down here in the fifth for those teams. She lines that one over the head of Jones. That's gonna roll into left center, the first base hit of the day for Penn State. And it's gonna be a stand. 12 starts, so. Swinging, it's gonna be strike three, and this time the play is made at the throw to first base. One run. Base back in the second inning. She'll swing on a pitch up high and get her first strike out of the day. That's seven today for Bailey Partial. This time she lays a fair ball in front of home plate. Partial will turn and throw, and the first base umpire, Brian Smith. Her total of the first two games. Called strike three. Partial strings together, a one, two, three, and the knit. That one a grounder to Scarmardo. She'll scoop it, haul it, and Cox will secure the out. We haven't seen many five to at first base, so she was able to stay. And that one almost into the glove of Pinarski. Jade Moy will haul it in, and they get her. First base, she can't reach this time. Second in the league. That one gonna be popped into center field drifting left and Kiara Dillon hauls it in. Boilermakers working on a few, one, two. Penn State has really shut out the Boilermakers since the first inning, I mean, since getting a hit by Tyrena Jones in the first. That one popped up in center field, gonna drop and make it 13 up, 13 down. One out here in the bottom is number 45 player at her position coming out of high school. She plays in the Inkers, caught a looping single from Tyrena Jones. Swing and a miss, strikeout from Sage Scar Scarmardo. Jones will pop it in the air, hauled in by Lexi Black, out number three. She's one for three today. The loan has unfortunately been edged out of that Big Ten tournament. Only the top 12 get invited you through Thursday, Friday, and the championship will be played, and the champion will be crowned on Saturday, May 13th at 3 p.m. on that tying or go-ahead run in the bottom of the seventh. But first, they gotta secure the final out as they've got two up here in the end. I firmly believe that if, if Tyrena Jones was not on this team, Jade Moy would be the shortstop, and there she goes, securing that final ground out on the... You go down swinging if you're at Chizoretta. She pops that one high, going back towards the wall, it's gone! We what a play by Alex Echezaretta. Alex, we just talked about it. She's hit a home run the first two games. She ties it up here in the third. Games in this series to close out the regular season. Season's not over yet, folks. A grounder over to third. Throw coming in from Maddock. It's made by Black. That's out number one. Two remaining before we... She's got a full count. That's a grounder. Scoops into the glove of Maddox. Throw coming over, and it's in time. Lexi Black is fired up as the. Take it upstairs. Go ahead, run is now aboard. And that's a great decision. And she's also got seven at ready for pitch three. She'll put that one in the air. It's going to fall in. Failed territory. That ball is live. Kendall Bailey sliding into third. Once the ball was going to be fair, or once the ball was hit, she... That one line into center field. It's going to drop. That sends in Bailey. Boilers win in the regular season finale. Bailey scores the winning run, and Boilers influential at bat of her career, and the Boilermakers finish strong.